How can conversational therapy help with anxiety, phobias, career choices, depending on your niche? How can advanced conversational therapy help your business or your niche? Well, I just want to ask you with yourself or with your clients, when you have a friend or a wife, a husband, a partner, a sibling, anyone that you can really have a, a close conversation about a problem, about an issue, and they ask you some questions and you're venting and you're telling them the problem and you're really describing what the problem is and how it makes you feel. And the person just asks you, one question and it's so random and it's so out there and you are stopped in your tracks. You actually don't know what to say and you go off and you have to think about it. You're in that moment for a while and then they'll say, what just happened then? And you will say, I don't know. And then they'll ask you another question and then you go off again and you go into this thought in this thinking where you're analyzing what they just said and you can't answer them. You're you're really stumped. This is what we do in advanced conversational therapy. You actually are taught a certain way of questioning the principles of how to ask your clients so that they can do it naturally. That's really a process of getting your clients to go into a natural unconscious moment, finding out the resource, going into the issue and seeing them change, seeing them find their own resource, seeing them find their own solution. And we do it all the time. We just don't realize that we are actually doing this unconsciously. And that's because the unconscious mind trusts the person. The unconscious mind allows for that thinking to happen because it's it's really battling with that question. And when you are asked such vague questions that you go off into a, a pattern or not so much a pattern, but a way of thinking that you haven't thought of before that makes you question, well, why am I not making life choices? What is stopping me from making decisions that's going to help me move forward in my business? What is it that's really stopping me from being so fearful? Why am I being so fearful? We really want to get you to understand how, when, and where in that conversation to, to get your clients to get drawn into that unconscious thinking.